Hey everybody, it's Evan back at you with another tip on a Tuesday. And today I'd like to talk to you about IS Import, which is a handy little utility we have um, for importing data into your IndieSoft database that you have possibly in Excel or Google Spreadsheets or really any data that can be stored in a TSV file or a CSV file, and those are tab-separated values or comma-separated value files. Um, so to begin, let me show you um, where I have some data, and it is in a Google spreadsheet. And as you can see, it's very important information that I'd like to pull in. Um, and what you'll do here in Google Spreadsheets, which I'm using online, um, I would go to File, Download As, and then I would choose Tab Separated Values. Um, for Excel, you can do the same thing, and it would be File, Save As, Tab Separated Values. And it is always best to use Tab Separated Values when importing data in, when it's possible to save it as a TSV file. Um, it's just easier, it handles um, kind of quotes and parentheses and other things a lot better than it would be with um, comma separated values. Um, so you go ahead and do that. I already have it downloaded. So let me show you kind of how it looks. Actually, first, let me show you one little thing here. This column I have blank, um, but I still want to pull in a company value here, but I don't have any value here yet. And in um, IS import, I'm going to show you how you can set a default value for that. So let's go into our installation directory. And in there, we're going to find isimport.exe. We'll go ahead and double click and open that up. It will ask us to log in. And I'm going to be pulling in repair parts, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different um, places you can pull in information to. Um, I'm going to choose repair parts next. Now we want to find the file we want to import the information from. It's I have it saved here in the C Users Public Documents IndieSoft IndieSoft all capitalized import files, um, and this is the file that I have it saved. This file is what's going to open up every time when you go to um, IS Import and look for the file you want to import. Um, so let's click Open. Then we're going to choose the file delimiter, and again, it is tab delimited. Then it's important to um, check this box here if you do have the first line of the import file contains header fields. So what that means is these, um, this first line here is kind of corresponds to what that information is in the columns. Um, so we want to make sure that this is checked. Um, so it kind of skips over that and it doesn't look like this is actual information you want to pull in. Oops. So from there, let's click next. And now we need to map the data um, from the import file to where we want it to go in IndieSoft. So we're going to find the fields we want to map it. And how that's going to work is it's going to find the columns um, here that are going to be listed kind of what fields where they're going to go and let me show you this so the first column is going to be part number so we'll pull over the part number then the next is going to be description so it'll be part description next it will be company and like I said I don't have any values for company so I want to set a default value so what we're going to do here is click on this button where it says set default value um, I'm going to choose ABC Company. Next, it's going to be Manufacturer. So we'll click Manufacturer. And then last, Part Category. So once that looks all good, we can go ahead and preview it by clicking this little magnifying glass. And as you can see, the part number, part number, part description, description, and so on and so forth. But you can see Company, um, the value to be imported is going to be ABC since it's default. So this is just the header line. Um, we can click through and look at each, go line by line in this document just to see um, kind of what values it's going to be pulling in. And this is good to check before you know the first maybe couple lines 
just to see if the information looks like it's going to be pulling in correctly. Um, usually you'll see kind of immediately stuff that's not looking right um, and then you'll want to go back and play around with um, how this is getting mapped. Um, some other cool features here is skip fields. So let's say if you had kind of blank columns that didn't have any information in it, you could go ahead and put in the skip field. You can use these arrows to kind of move it up and down the list. Um, or you can actually drag it to wherever you'd like. I'm not going to need it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, but again, let's double check, make sure everything looks good which it does. Um, let me just show you so I'm not pulling your chain on this. This information does not already live in my database. So we can see ABC company, there are no repair parts. So we'll exit out, go back to IS import, and now we are going to go ahead and click finish. Um, this is just telling you to make sure that you have a copy of the data you're trying to pull in just in case something goes awry and the data um, file gets corrupted or deleted or somehow um, messed up. Um, never seen it happen, but it's always good to have multiple copies of the data you're trying to import. Click yes. Real quickly, it's imported. Um, press OK. Now we'll go in and click on it. And when you look at that, all that information has now been pulled in and it is properly mapped to the fields that we want it to. If you guys, anyone has any questions at all, please feel free to shoot in an email at support at indiesoft.com. Myself or one of the other support technicians would be happy to help you um, kind of take a look at the file and play around with it and help you get it imported. But until next time, happy calibrating.